Welcome to daily news updates by the Shipping Tribune. Here we bring you the latest maritime daily news in a short form video format. Please subscribe for regular updates. Trade market scenario by Segal Sea Trade. On July 12th, the Asia Pacific Panamax freight rates were either stable or hiked. The Asia Pacific Supermax market freight rates showed a mixed reaction. The Cape size freight rates were mostly flat and the Pacific Handy size freight rates slightly increased. The Ministry of Ports, Shipping and Waterways to host State Maritime and Waterways Transport Committee meeting on 16th July. The Ministry of Ports, Shipping and Waterways, Government of India will convene the State Maritime and Waterways Transport Committee's meeting on 16 July 2024 at 10am via video conferencing chaired by Shri T. K. Ramachandran, Secretary, the Ministry of Ports, Shipping and Waterways. The committee aims to ensure comprehensive development of maritime and waterways transport across India, expanding its reach to include the remaining states. The meeting will focus on the preparation of state-specific maritime and waterways transport master plans, formulation of maritime sector policies, green initiatives, waterways development, cruise tourism, urban water transportation, and the development of lighthouses. Adani I Port in Vietnam to tap trade opportunities. Billionaire Gautam Adani plans to build a port in Vietnam as the Indian conglomerate seeks to develop infrastructure overseas to tap opportunities from increasing trade. Adani Ports and Special Economic Zone Limited has secured an in principle approval from the Vietnamese government for a greenfield development in Da Nang, Karan Adani, managing director of the company, said in an interview. The project, which will have container terminals and multi-purpose berths to handle various types of cargo, is at an early stage of planning and the total investment required hasn't been finalized yet. Vizinjam Port – How the first transshipment port will make India a dominant player in global maritime trade. The country's first deep-sea container handling port constructed in Kerala's Vizinjam is scheduled to be completed by 2028 to 29 and will allow India to wrestle a larger share of cargo and container volume from dominant players in the industry. With the birthing of the first mothership, San Fernando, a 300-meter-long container vessel operated by Maersk at Kerala's Vizinjam port, there is enthusiasm in the air as India looks to up its game in the arena of international maritime trade. Experts feel that the country's first semi-automated deep-sea harbour will serve as a gateway for trade between Southeast Asia, the Middle East and Africa and translate into reduced logistics costs while boosting India's share in international trade. Ports, Shipping and Waterways Ministry approves 46.47 lakh rupees dredge sediment reuse project. The Union Ministry of Ports, Shipping and Waterways has approved a research proposal on valorization of dredged sediments. According to a statement by the Ministry on Saturday, the project has been sanctioned at an estimated cost of 46 lakh 47,380 rupees. The valorization of dredged sediments is the reuse of sediments as raw material for civil engineering and other purposes. It can be a sustainable solution to reduce the strain on natural resources and eliminate waste. Thank you for watching the video. Please hit the like button if you like the video. Leave a comment down below and subscribe to the Shipping Tribune YouTube channel if you haven't already.